Hello, statisticians. Section 6.2 Excel tips is going to take a look at the binomial distribution. The command in Excel for the binomial distribution is equals binome dot dist. Open a parenthesis and we list several pieces. The first piece is the number of successes, comma, the number of trials, comma, the probability as a decimal, so it needs to be less than one, comma, and then we will say either true or false. We'll use true if we want it to be cumulative, and false if we want it to be equal to exactly that number. So for example, if a machine makes 40 widgets each day, and it is known that on average 4% will not work, we want to know on a given day what's the probability that exactly 3 will not work. Because that's exactly 3, we don't want to do a cumulative, so the last part is going to be false. We're going to say equals, binome.dist, open a parenthesis, the number of successes, we want exactly three to not work, comma, the number of trials, there are 40, comma, the probability, 4% as a decimal is 0 0.04, comma, we're going to say false to get exactly three. When we hit enter, we find the probability is 0.1396. If we want the probability of fewer than 4, fewer than 4 means we want 3, 2, 1, or 0. The important part there is you notice we're counting at 3, starting at 3, and counting down. This is going to be a cumulative distribution. So we're going to use true this time. We're going to say equals binome dot dist, open a parenthesis. The number of successes, fewer than four means three or fewer successes, comma, the number of trials is still 40, comma, the probability is still 0 0.04, but this time we're going to say true to represent we want to add three and everything below its probability. When I hit enter, we find a probability of 92%. When we ask for the probability of at most 4, we need to be careful with what that means. At most 4 means we're starting with the number 4 and counting down 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So exactly the same as the prior one, we're going to say equals binome.dist, but this time we're going to start counting down from 4 with 40 trials, probability of 0 0.04. And again, we'll say true because we're adding up several probabilities together, counting down. When we do this, we get at over a 97% probability that at most four will not work. These last two take a little bit of a different direction because they're going to count up. The probability of more than two means three, four, five, and so on. The Excel binomial distribution function only counts down, so we need to know what this is the opposite of, and then we'll calculate the complement, 1 minus the opposite, which means what we don't want is the other numbers, 2, 1, and counting down. Because we're calculating a complement, we'll start with equals 1 minus. That means we're taking away the complement, the part we don't want. What we don't want is the binomial dot dist, open a parenthesis, starting with two successes, because that's the first number in the not, comma, the number of trials is still 40 in this example, comma, the probability is still 0 0.04, and we're going to say true because we want to add up the 210. When we hit enter, we find the probability of more than two not working is over 21%. Changing the wording a little bit and saying what's the probability at least two will not work, that means two, three, four, and counting up. Again, because we're counting up, we're going to do the complement, which means we don't want one, zero, counting down. Because we're doing a complement, we're going to start with equals one minus binome.dist, open a parenthesis. The first number of successes in my not list is one, comma, the number of trials is 40, comma, the probability is 0 0.04, comma, and because we're adding all the values going down, we're going to say true. When I hit enter, I find the probability that at least two will not work on a given day is over 47, almost 48%.
Be very careful with the wording on these binomial distribution problems and decide, am I counting up, am I counting down, or do I want exactly a specific number, because it's going to affect the way you set up. Also, you need to be careful if the number in the problem is included or is not included based on, are we saying at most, more than, less than, at least. It can slightly change how the problem is set up. So be very careful and aware of that. Good luck on your assignment, and we'll see you on the next video.